All right, welcome to the walk around of the X-Mind Prime. Um, we're gonna showcase what the buttons do and what we're gonna use the different uh, rests for. First, we have some buttons here on the main arm, the up, the down, and the third one in turns on the laser lights. So these laser lights are very useful for positioning. We have one that goes right up and down the midline and one that's horizontal for our Frankfurt horizontal to line up with our a la tragus line. We also have the ability to move this up and down if we're trying to intentionally tilt a patient back or forwards. Once we've decided on the type of exam we want to do, we're going to choose the appropriate chin rest. 99% of the time we're going to use this taller chin rest. And in that chin rest, you can place either a bite stick for patients who are dentate or patients who are edentulous, we have a chin rest as well. In rare cases where the patient's shoulders are inhibiting the rotation of the U-arm and you're gonna have some um, bad imaging, we can swap out the taller one for a medium sized one. Now you may give up a little bit of data on the bottom of the chin since we've lowered the patient in the field of view. For images that are more concerned with the maxilla, like a maxillary 3D scan, TMJ, or sinus scans, there is a third option, which is the smallest of all the chin rests. But notice the high frequency uh, blinking here is showing us that our exam that we've selected is the incorrect exam for this chin rest. So it will give you an idea that you have the wrong one selected. But once again, more often than not, we're gonna go with the taller of the chin rest. So let's go ahead and get a patient in the machine and showcase how to get them positioned. Okay, I'm here with Sheridan to help showcase how we position patients. So notice the bite stick sometimes will get a little bit low as it drops into that cavity there. We may wanna help the patient bite into it by lifting it up. So Sheridan, come ahead and step in and put your teeth right in between the bite stick. Great. So notice when we turn on our laser that our a la tragus line, Sheridan is tilted too far forward. The anterior of her is too far up. So we're gonna bring this down just a little bit right there, and we want the maxillary occlusal plane to be horizontal and level with the floor, okay? We're gonna go ahead and bring in our headrests. Great, spine nice and straight. Now we're gonna take Sheridan's hands, we're gonna open her palms, just have her rest the palms like that. What that does is relaxes the shoulders a little bit. If we have someone who has wider shoulders, we'll ask them to actually move their hands crisscross like that. Notice how that tightens the shoulders in, okay? So once we're happy with the positioning here, we're gonna go ahead and hit our reset button and that'll get the machine set for imaging. 